Hi everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. I am back with one of the biggest set reviews we're going to do all year. We have 2021 Tops Chrome releasing this week. And the question on every collector's mind is, is it worth the price tag? Well, it's time to find out in this One Cent Sports Cards exclusive One Cent Sensational Set Rating for 2021 Tops Chrome. So the wait is finally over and we have 2021 Topps Chrome releasing this week. And what we're trying to find out in this set guide in review is how good Topps Chrome really is and is it worth the price tag? And we're going to do that by using the exclusive one cent sensational set ranking. Now here's what that is. It is the most in-depth ranking system you're going to find anywhere on the internet. What I do is I break the set down into 10 different categories, everything from the cost value to the auto checklist, to the parallel rainbow, to the relics, everything. If it is in the set, we're going to cover off on it. And each one of these categories is going to be worth one to 10 points. Then we add up all of those points and give it a one to five star rating based upon the system that you see over on the left of your screen. And then what we'll do is we'll compare the 2021 Topps Chrome set to the 2020 set that came out last year. And then we'll compare it to all of the other sets that have come out in 2021 so far to see how good it stacks up against this year's competition. So one more thing before we begin, be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like these reviews. It is the best way that you can support the channel. And if you want to see every one of the reviews that I release throughout the baseball card season, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification if you want to be the first to see all the reviews. So in our Topps Chrome review, here's what we're going to cover off on. We're going to first start out with the set highlights, kind of tell you what the set has to offer. Then we'll go in, tell you the different buying formats you can get it in and what cards you'll get out of those buying formats. Dig a little bit deeper, tell you the key cards that we're looking to chase in this set. And then we'll go even a little deeper tell you what the parallels are, the inserts, the relics. Yes, there's a relic this year and we'll go off on the autos for a little bit. And then I'm even going to tell you a few teams that I think that you should target and break. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Give you a couple sleepers who I think the best team is, who I think has the most value. You won't want to miss that. And then I'm going to give you my opinions on how I think Topps Chrome is from a positive point of view and a negative point of view. And that's what leads us to our one cent sensational set ranking, where we're going to find out how good this set really is this year. And we'll rank it with all of the other sets that have come out this season to date. So tops Chrome 2021. First thing you need to know, it's a colorful Chrome set that features a ton of rookies and a few key veterans. It is the Chromium version of the 2021 flagship release, and it features key players from those releases Series 1 and Series 2. It is in its 26th year of production, started way back in 1996 and hasn't quit since. This year, it's got an odd number for the base set checklist. It's got 219 cards, and for whatever reason, it's missing card number 131. So I think it was supposed to have 220 cards. Maybe we'll find out why card number 131 is missing. A big mystery. The set does have a heavy focus on rookies, and that's what makes it one of the year's most popular releases. It does have a gigantic 23 color parallel rainbow of the base set checklist, and it's available all over the place. You can get it in hobby. You can get it in retail. We'll cover off on what all those formats here are in a little bit. There are two hobby configurations available. There's a hobby box. It's going to give you two autos. And then you've got the hobby jumbo box, also called the HTA jumbo box. There's five autos in that. And for this year, we've got short print image va variations and super short print image variations available in the base set checklist. And new for 2021, we have a relic set called the Captain's Cloth Relic, and we can get some of those in auto formats as well. And finally, we have two new inserts for 2021, the Baseball Insert and the Prismic Power Insert. 
So what are the different buying formats we can get this in? Well, let's start with the hobby side. We can get a jumbo HTA case, and that's gonna have eight boxes in a case, 12 packs per box, 13 cards per pack. That's 1,248 total cards you'll get in a case. And the current price on that, a hefty $4,300, which gets you to a cost per card of around $3.45 but you're guaranteed to get 40 autos and 96 different refractors. If you don't have 4,300 bucks, drop down to the HTA hobby box or jumbo box. It's again, gonna have 12 packs per box, 13 cards per pack, 156 total cards. Those are pretty expensive right now too, sitting at around 540 bucks. Cost per card, $3.46. You get five autos, 12 refractors out of each one of those jumbo boxes. We've also got the hobby format. That's gonna have 12 boxes in a case, 24 packs per box, four cards per pack for a total of 1,152 total cards per case. Cost $4,150. Your cost per card, $3.60. Guaranteed to get 24 autos, 96 refractors, and 48 prism refractors out of each hobby case. For the hobby box, again, 24 packs per box, four cards per pack, so you get 96 total cards, costing you around $350 right now, so a cost per card of $3.65. You're going to get two autos, eight refractors, and four prism refractors. For our retail formats, the mega box will return in 2021. You're going to get 10 packs in a box with four cards per pack. Now, last year, it had two X-Fractor parallels. That is unconfirmed for 2021, but I believe that you'll see some sort of parallel in two packs. So that'll give you 50 total cards, and the price on that is going to be 50 bucks, so a cost per card of $1. The blaster box obviously is going to be available. We've got eight packs in that box and you've got four sepia and pink refractor parallels that are kind of mixed within. So you've got 32 total cards with a current price of $30. So a cost per card of 94 cents and the hanger boxes are going to return in 2021. You get four packs per box, four cards per pack, and they're going to give you a five card tops update preview pack also in there, which will preview some of the cards from the upcoming update set that is being released by tops in a few months. Cost on that is going to be around 15 bucks. So a cost per card of 71 cents. The Val pack also returns. You're going to get three packs in that package and there's going to be four cards per pack and there will be a refractor parallel pack. Don't know if it's going to be the pinks. That's unconfirmed. That's what they had last year, but it did have five cards in that pack. So 17 total cards going to cost you 10 bucks with a cost per card of 59 cents. Now, Individual gravity feed packs may also be available in certain locations, and you may also find additional formats based upon the retail location that you are shopping at. So what are the different base parallels we can chase? Well, there's a ton of them. For the base set, we've got refractors, sepias, x-fractors. We've got pink, prism, and negative. None of those are going to be numbered, but they are all limited. When we get to our numbered ones, we've got magenta and magenta speckle, which are new for 2021. We've got purple, aqua, aqua wave. Both the aquas are new for 2021. And we've got blue, green, green wave, blue wave, gold, gold wave. Exclusive to hobby is going to be those oranges numbered to 25. You can only get those in the hobby format, not even in the HTA jumbo format. We've got orange wave, red, red wave, and of course, super fractors and printing plates. So our key cards in Topps Chrome, let's start off with the key rookies. One, we've got Ian Anderson, we've got Jake Cronenworth, Ryan Mountcastle, Nick Madrigal, Joey Bart, Alec Bohm, Nate Pearson, Dylan Carlson, Joe Adele, Jazz Tizzle, Alex Kirilov, Cabrian Hayes. Now there are other rookies like Andrew Vaughn and Kelnick. They are in here, but they are either short prints or autos only. You got to really pay attention to the auto only checklist because if they're not in the base checklist, there's a good chance your rookie is going to be sitting in the auto checklist from Topps Chrome. 
So let's cover off on what the parallels, variations, autos, relics, and inserts are going to be for this year. Like I just mentioned, we've got the short print and the super short print image variations of the base set. Now there is a Kelnick short print. I believe that's a super short print and Adele has a short print and a super short print version in a rookie card variation of the base set. Those are going to be really sought after cards there. We've got the rookie autographs, which are what everyone is chasing in Topps Chrome, especially the auto only. Andrew Vaughn in there, again, Jared Kelnick autos available, plus a ton of other rookie autos. All of those in the auto only checklist that are not in the base set checklist. Going to be some pretty sought after cards there. The Captain's Cloth Chrome Relics, you can see what that looks like on the right, and the Relic Autos, that is new. It's awesome that they finally put a Relic into Topps Chrome, and we've got Autoed version. Those are going to be pretty sought after there. And then, of course, the 1986 Retro Autos that have been around in 2021. Those are pretty collectible. There's a Dual Rookie Autos Checklist. Those are going to be some amazing cards if you can pull those. And of course, the rookie parallels. Everyone's chasing the color. Rookie parallels hold a ton of value on the secondary market. So some very valuable sought after cards there. And then for our inserts, we've got the new ones. We've got the Prismic Power insert, the Baseball insert, and of course, the ever popular Future Stars inserts that we'll be looking for in Topps Chrome this year. Speaking of inserts, let's cover off on all of the ones that you can pull. First, you've got the 1986 Topps Baseball 25 cards in that subset, and it drops one in six hobby packs with a smaller parallel rainbow of green, gold, orange, red, and super fractor. We have the base image variation, super short prints, some very nice names in that, including Kelnick and uh, Dell. We've got six cards in that subset and the base image variation short prints, 20 cards in that subset with a parallel rainbow of green, gold, orange, red, and super fractor. And the baseball insert, 15 cards in that subset. They land one in 12 hobby packs. You can see what it looks like over there on the right with Ronald Acuna Jr. with a small parallel rainbow of green, gold, orange, red, and super fractor. We have some more inserts as well. We've got Future Stars. It's a staple of Topps Chrome. 20 cards in that set. Land one in eight hobby packs with the smaller parallel green, gold, orange, red, Super Fractor Rainbow. And Prismic Power, which is a new one for 2021. Going to feature a lot of uh, different pitchers in that subset. 15 cards. One of the longer odds. We've got one in 24 packs. So you're going to find one in every hobby box, basically. And a green, gold, orange, red, Super Fractor Parallel Rainbow as well. For our autographs. We've got the 1986 Topps Baseball Autograph, 16 cards in that set. You can see exactly what that looks like with Juan Soto over there on the right. A very small orange-red Super Fractor printing plate parallel rainbow. And the baseball inserts, you can get those. They're all going to be numbered if you get an autoed one to 99 or less. There's 18 cards in that auto checklist. And the very rare dual rookie autos, you're going to have five cards in that. They're each numbered to 25, and there is a parallel breakdown of red and super fractor. We also can get the future stars inserts autoed, 10 cards in that set with an orange red super fractor printing plate rainbow. Continuing on with our autographs, prismic power inserts, those can be autoed as well. 11 different cards in that subset with an orange red super fractor printing plate parallel rainbow. And then the ones that you're going to find in most hobby boxes and in most of the ones that you're ripping, of course, the ever popular rookie autos. Tons of different ones we can pull out of there. 133 different cards. A lot of them do not have a base cards. They're just autos only. A much larger parallel rainbow with refractor, purple, aqua, blue, blue wave, green. The greens are only available in retail, by the way. And then we've got those oranges, which are only available in hobby. And then we come all the way down to a super fractor and printing plate one of one. So those are all the different autographs, but we can also get some relics and autographed relics. So like I said, new for 2021, we've got the Captain's Cloth Chrome Relics. 
There's 35 cards in that subset, and they are only available in Hobby and Jumbo Hobby Packs. We do have a parallel rainbow here. We've got the green, the orange, the red, and the Super Fractor. And these are available as numbered relics as well. So there's only 14 cards in the autos, and they are varied in their numbering. So we can get the autographed version or the non-autographed version. But very cool, the Topps Chrome has a relic, an auto relic, available in 2021. So with all that being said, we know what we can pull. We know what we're looking for. We know who the key rookies are. But who are the teams that we should be targeting in breaks? Well, I'm going to give you six of them. And I'm going to give you my reasons why I think they're great teams to target in a break, whether it be a pick your team or whether it be a random team break. So let's start with what I think the best team is. And that's going to be the Chicago White Sox. The Chicago White Sox have 10 base cards two rookie cards out of that base card set. They've got 14 different autos and 11 of those autos are rookie card autos. They've got two relics, a lot of different inserts and six and one short print image variation. They've got some great rookie auto names in here. A ton of different rookie autos you can pull. The fact that there's 14 autos means you've got a good chance of getting one in a pick your team. I think this is going to be the most expensive team, if not real close to the most expensive team in a pick your team. If you get this in a random team break, definitely, definitely keep the Chicago White Sox. They are a fantastic team for 2021 Topps Chrome. But if you're looking for the most autos, you may want to look the New York Yankees ways. They also have 14 different autos, but only six of those are going to be rookie card autos. They've got 10 base cards, two rookie cards as well in the base set. They've got three relics and five inserts, and they also have one short print image variation and one super short print Babe Ruth image variation. The Chicago White Sox, the New York Yankees, either of these teams are going to be really expensive in a pick your team, and they're going to be great if you get them in a random team break. I would hold on to either of them. If you wanted to make a trade, I, I don't know who you would trade for unless you're trading the White Sox straight up for the Yankees, something like that. But these two teams, pretty, pretty valuable. So if you get them, congratulations. But if you're looking for a solid choice that isn't maybe one of the top two, go ahead and look at the Houston Astros. Could almost be considered a sleeper here. But the Houston Astros have 10 base cards, one rookie card. They've got 12 different autos, and eight of those are rookie card autos. Some of the other ones are like Jordan Alvarez, some very nice value in some of the other autos as well. They've got three relics and four inserts. The Houston Astros, a lot of people down on the Houston Astros because of Trash Can Gate, and I understand that. However, when we're talking rookie cards, a lot of the rookies in 2021 weren't around in 2017, and I think that that stigma is going to slowly wear off. So you may want to look the Houston Astros way. You may even be able to get them on the cheap. You may be able to trade for them in a random team break, and I believe just as we watch cards getting pulled out of boxes and out of cases, you're going to see the Houston Astros showing up quite consistently. It's a very solid team with a very solid checklist. So don't pass on the Houston Astros. Now, if you want the team that I think is actually going to have the most value in the long run, they have been a sleeper team of mine all season, but now we have a very rookie card focused set in 2021 Topps Chrome, and I am picking the Miami Marlins. Now, they've only got seven base cards, four rookie cards, but they have 12 autos, and 11 of those autos are rookie card autos. They've only got one insert, but we're not looking at the inserts here. But as we start looking at some of the names on the Miami Marlins, we've got Jazz Chisholm, you've got Rogers, you've got uh, Sixto Sanchez on there. Rogers is shaping up to maybe be the National League Rookie of the Year. Jazz Chisholm is the one that's pushing them. That team is a team that is definitely on the rise. We've got some of the other rookie card autos in there where they could get more valuable. And I believe that when we look at the Miami Marlins, like two, three, four years from now, we're all going to be sitting here kicking our ourselves in the butt saying, why didn't I get in cheap on this team? The Miami Marlins are going to be fairly expensive in a pick your team because of the amount of autos that they do have. So I'm not necessarily going to call them a sleeper anymore, but I do think 
that you could probably get them fairly inexpensive because a lot of people sleep on the Marlins. It's because of the fact that they're in Florida. They don't have a big fan base, but definitely, definitely, if you can get them in a pick your team at a reasonable price, jump all over it. If you get them in a random team break, keep them or maybe even try and trade for them. You're chasing rookies in Topps Chrome and these Miami Marlins have a ton of them. So who are my sleepers? Well, my first one, I'm going to be the Texas Rangers. They've got nine base cards, five rookie cards, nine different autos. Six of those are rookie cards. They've got one relic. I believe it's an Adrian Beltre relic and two different inserts. Now, again, picking the Rangers for the same reason why I like the Miami Marlins. There's some very nice rookies on the Rangers and their cards are available in the set. Sam Huff probably leads the way there, but there's plenty other ones. Leody Tavares, for example. And again, we're chasing rookie cards. We're chasing some of those parallels. We've got a decent amount of autos in nine compared to a lot of other teams. A lot of other teams don't have nine. They're kind of in the upper half when it comes to autos. And six of those are rookie card autos. The Rangers, probably going to be a middle of the road. Pick your team break in terms of cost. And in a random team break, probably a very easy team to trade for. So don't sleep on the Rangers. Again, remember, we're chasing rookies in 2021 Tops Chrome. And that's why the Rangers are one of my sleepers. Another one, maybe quite not a sleeper here, but the Philadelphia Phillies. They've got 10 base cards, two rookie cards, 10 different autos. Six of those are rookie cards. They've got one relic, three inserts, two short print variations. Again, the Phillies have a very nice stable of young rookie cards. That's what we're chasing with 2021 Topps Chrome. Might be a little bit more expensive than the Rangers, but the Phillies... A team that people generally tend to sleep on. If you can get them at a reasonable price and a pick your team break, or if you can trade for them or get lucky enough to land the Phillies in a random team break, I would keep them, maybe try and trade for them. Again, when we see packs and when we see boxes and cases being opened, you will consistently see Phillies cards getting pulled. So, those are my six teams that I'm going to recommend in 2021 Tops Chrome for breaks. And that brings us to what I think the set positives are for Tops Chrome in 2021. First and foremost, it is an extremely popular set with almost every type of collector, whether you are a beginner collector, whether you are a big time investor that wants to grade every card and flip every card. This set is popular with you. It is probably the most popular baseball set behind maybe some Bowman ones, but maybe even not behind Bowman. Second, the 219 card checklist, it allows for a good chance at hitting some of the 2021 rookies. There's plenty of rookie cards in this set. And with a smaller checklist that focuses on rookies, you're going to pull rookies. If you get yourself a hobby box or a jumbo box, you're going to have a ton of rookie cards in it. The trick is to hit some of those parallels. That's where the value really starts going up for Topps Chrome and where some of those PC collection pieces that are real nice to have really, really start to shine. But even the base Chrome cards, really cool cards, really nice looking design this year. Chrome this year looks beautiful. So even some of the base set rookies, you're going to love looking at them and they're great collector's pieces, even if you're not on the investor side of the hobby. Also, we've got plenty of buying options available in 2021 for both retail and hobby formats. Some of those retails are going to give you exclusive cards. The hobby boxes are giving you exclusive orange cards. And if you're looking for those autos, you're going to be wanting the HTA jumbo box because they've got five in each box. So plenty of different buying options with reasons to buy each of them in 2021. Also, the fact that we have a set that is offering a relic plus an auto relic Totally rare for a Chrome set, but definitely welcome. I have said in my reviews in the past that I believe that these sets would do well with a relic and tops. I think, listen to me, because they put one in and they put a cool one, that Captain's Cloth one in there. I am so stoked that they added that. It really kind of brings another dimension to the chase as we're opening up packs of this stuff. So good on you, Tops, for putting that one in in 2021. Like I mentioned earlier, that parallel rainbow makes for some awesome 
personal collection chase cards. So if there's someone you collect, like for example, I like collecting Joe Adele rookies this year, and these are going to be some of the most fun cards to chase, whether it be on the secondary market or getting lucky in some packs, getting some of those rainbows and getting some of those parallels. One of the most fun things to do in the hobby. It can get expensive, but it's really cool when you start getting five, six, seven, eight different colors of the rainbow and putting them in your PC and seeing how neat that looks. Finally, it is one of the strongest sets of the year on the secondary market. So if you're looking as an investor, if you're looking as someone that wants to flip cards, this is a very, very strong set to do. It used to be that the flagship set kind of set sail and set the pace for what cards were worth. But in the last few years, Topps Chrome has kind of taken over the flagship is the most valuable rookie cards on the market. Now, the Bowman first still going to hold a little bit more, but for true rookies, looking at that Topps Chrome set, it has kind of become the standard bearer in terms of value for true rookie cards with a Topps logo on it. So if you're an investor, if you're a flipper, this is a great product for you as well. But of course, there's set negatives as well. First, we've got the increased production numbers, which have been across the board in 2021. That's evident by the expansion of the Parallel Rainbow, and they added a big one. It's like the 399, those magentas. So they have increased the production, which is going to make our odds a little bit longer and maybe hurt long-term overall value. Not sure that they increased it much more from last year, but definitely up from last year. And then, of course, you flippers out there that love to turn a box for twice of what you bought it for, you retail arbitrage folks. First of all, the collecting universe hates you, but we get that you exist and you guys are going to dominate the retail format with those little paid bots that you have. And I guess more power to you. Us true collectors will rise in the end. But if you are a true collector, or even if you're an investor that doesn't use bots, Good luck finding this stuff in the wild. It's going to be tough, but if you try, I believe you're going to find it. Also, the 2021 design is simply a flawed design. Not necessarily a Topps Chrome thing, just it's that flagship design. They've got the tiny names on it and the odd placements of the logos this year, like the Rookie Cup logo. It just hurts the design visually. The Chrome looks really neat. It's going to look a little bit different than it has the last couple years. It's just the border that is colored when you get the parallels but I think you're going to find that it's more shiny and the printing process is a little bit different this year. But at the end of the day, the design of 2021 flagship was just a flawed design and it's unfortunate, but it does exist in Topps Chrome. So we got to mention it. The other thing, the auto checklist this year for the rookies, it's 133 different cards. There is some holes in it, not in regards of people missing, but in regards of value. So kind of typical for the set that we're going to have a ton of rookie autos. Let's not forget that there are some huge rookie autos that we're going to pull out of here that are going to be worth a ton of money. But for every one of those, we've got a few that are going to be rookies that maybe only do one or two years in the majors. And the long-term value of those cards is not going to be much. That brings me to my last point on the negatives, which is the hobby format is still priced a little bit high. Uh, the cost per card, well over $3, and most of these cards are not going to be worth that on the secondary market. Now, the reason you're buying into hobby is for the parallels and for the autos. That is a fact. A lot of, You're going to hear a lot of people saying, oh, it's priced so high. Well, it's because of the autos. And if you think about it, the autos are about... A, a little over a hundred dollars, which is kind of in line with what it is for most other sets. Those HTA jumbos you're getting for 540, you're getting five autos. So you're around a hundred dollars an auto. The problem is some of those autos aren't worth a hundred dollars. Some of them may be worth much more than that, especially graded. So it all kind of comes out in the end, but that auto checklist a little bit spotty with some of the rookies because of how expanded it is with 133 different autos in that rookie set checklist. And the cost per card and hobby format is pretty high. But overall, when you start kind of extrapolating those numbers, it's not as bad as what you're going to hear some other people say. So with all that being said, that brings us to our one cent sensational set ranking, where we're going to find out how good Topps Chrome 2021 really is. So like I said, we use a 10 
category checklist of areas where we can grade tops 2021 chrome the first one going to be appeal i believe that there is very few sets on the market that appeal to every collector as much as tops chrome so i'm going to go ahead and give it a 10 maybe some bowman ones but bowman tops chrome i mean we're talking shiny things it is a set that everyone loves if you are a baseball card collector for the base set checklist I'm going to go ahead and give that a nine. We've got every rookie in there. We've got some nice short prints that we can chase and some short print image variations we can chase in that base set checklist. That's what gets Kelnick and Vaughn in there. We've got everyone else from Cronenworth, Cabrian Hayes. So we've got virtually every rookie that we're looking for, plus a very nice short print image variation one. So I go ahead and give it a nine. For the inserts and the relics, I normally would not go this high for a Topps Chrome set, but I'm going eight because they have actually put a relic into Topps Chrome, which I think was so sorely needed. Plus, we've got our tried and true future stars coming back, a couple new one in the Prismic Power and the uh, baseball insert. So we've expanded the line a little bit. A very nice set for 2021. I go ahead and give it an eight. For parallels and variations, there is no better set for parallels. Plus, we have very strong variations. So I go ahead and give that a 10. For the auto checklist, I'm dropping that down to a 7. Yes, we have some great rookie autos. And yes, we've got some very valuable autos of people that aren't rookies. Everyone from like Mike Trout and Ronald Acuna Jr. is in here. But the rookie auto checklist, pretty big list. And there are some spots in it. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7. For our pack odds and production, I'm going to give it a 5.5. The odds are not going to be great in this. I'm giving it a 5.5 because it is not produced as much as some of the flagship sets. This stuff probably going to sell out pretty quick, probably won't be available on shelves after about a month or so. So if you want it, get in quick on it. The pack odds aren't going to be great. The production isn't great, but it's not bad either. So I give it a 5.5 for the card quality. A little bit of a different technique that is being used this year um, from stuff that I have watched online already with a couple people that have found things early in the wild over at Walmart. The cards are going to look different than some of the Topps Chrome cards. I believe they're going to be a little bit shinier, but from everything I have seen, a lot of people are saying they might scratch easier. That is all on you to take care of your cards. If they come out of the pack that way, you can sometimes go back to tops and they'll help you out on that. But I believe that the card quality is going to be real nice this year. And these things are going to come out looking beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven. For historical value, I'm going to give it a 9.5, which has gone up from last year. The reason why Topps Chrome in the last couple of years has really become the standard bearer for rookie cards in top sets. Now, maybe not quite as valuable as a Bowman First. I don't believe that the Bowman First are as popular as a Topps Chrome rookie card. So I go ahead and give it a 9.5. For artistic value, I'm going to give it a 7. I think the cards are going to come out looking great. I'm not a big fan of the flagship design this year, but they have kind of updated the chrome look and some of the inserts and the relic that we have, the captain's cloth, some really nice artistic pushing of the envelope there. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7. And for our cost value, I'm giving that a 7 as well. You're going to hear people out there that are saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe how expensive this is. However, go look on the secondary market. These cards hold their value. And when we really extrapolate in the hobby format, how many autos you're getting per box, especially in that HTA format, five autos plus the parallels that you're going to get out of that box and the amount of cards, it actually says cost per auto right around $100, which is kind of in line with a lot of other top sets that you've been buying, Tops Finest, all of that. So it's in line with everything else. But when you get five autos and they're a hundred bucks a piece, yes, those boxes are going to be 540. Do I think that the price might come down here in a couple of weeks on the hobby format? Sure. If it does buy it up, Tops Chrome, a very safe buy, especially if the prices drop in long term, you're probably going to make that all back up anyway. So with all that being said, what does Topps Chrome rank on the one cent sensational set ranking? Well, its final rating is an 80. And that makes it the highest 
four star set that it can be almost a five star set i believe that if we had just a little bit more punch on that auto checklist and it was a little bit more tight on that auto checklist that we probably would have a five star set here i might even call it a five star set but we're calling it a high high four star set if you like baseball cards, if you like rookie cards, this is a set that you really cannot pass on. If you like parallels, you can't pass on it. We have very nice autos. We have the auto relic. We have the inserts. There's not a lot to dislike outside of maybe price in Topps Chrome 2021. So I give it an 80. Last year, we gave it a 76. So it's getting a little bit better compared to last year. And for all of our set rankings to date, where does Topps Chrome lie? Well, we have a new leader at the top of the list. Topps Chrome, the number one set of the 2021 season, overtaking Bowman Baseball, which came out a few months back with a score of 80. Bowman Baseball at second with 77.5. Gypsy Queen Stadium Club and Series 1 rounding out the top five. And what you will find is we only have one Panini product sitting in the top 10 right now. That is Panini Select at 70. So Topps Chrome, a fantastic set. If you guys like parallels, rookies, and baseball cards with logos on it, you can't go wrong with Topps Chrome. So comment below. Let me know what you think about this year's Topps Chrome set. If you're buying into it, if you think it's too expensive, if it's your favorite set, if it's your least favorite set, I love get in comments. I respond to most of the ones that are worth responding to. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to throw over to first and hit that like button for me. That's the best way you can support the channel. And if you like these reviews, definitely subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can see everyone that comes out in the 2021 card season. So with that, I hope that you all have great luck on your personal pack polls and in the breaks you're getting into for 2021 Tops Chrome. And until next time, be good to your family, be good to your friends, be good to your neighbors, and take care.